my name is Anna Maria, um, and I live in my van. Um, this is my van, of course. Um, I've been living in it since April 7th, um, so we're going on about three months now, I believe. Um, and I just kind of wanted to show you around and show you what my space looks like and stuff, um, and just see what you think. Okay, so real, two really quick things. One, it is like 80 degrees outside today, um, so I am in the shade, so the lighting's probably not going to be perfect. Um, the other thing is there are some leaf blowers across the street at the church um, doing some yard work. Um, I'm over here at the library, um, so if you're wondering what that weird sound is, that's what it is. Um, so anyway, let's look at my van. Okay, here's my van. Um, it's a 1988 Dodge Ram conversion van. Um, it, I got it with only 69,000 miles off on it. Um, I bought it from a 94 year old woman who I guess had bought it, her and her husband had bought it to take their grandkids traveling. Um, and I got it really for a really good deal. Um, I got it for about $2,300. Um, and that was just for the van, it ran and everything. Um, we did have to get it like brand new tires. The tires were like 10 years old. Um, and like the brakes done and the accessory belts and stuff like that. But other than that, it's all like, this is the original paint and everything. Um, there was a little bit of, there is a little bit of surface rust on it. Um, that wasn't a deal breaker for me though, because it's not any actual rust that would affect, affect the beef. Um, so yeah, got a really great deal on it. Um, and it was from someone local. Um, and so that was really All right, so right here we are on the driver's side. In this first pocket, I have a glue gun <laughs> and a plastic straw that I accidentally got from Starbucks. I really try not to use plastic straws, um, but it was an accident, stuff happens. Um, I have this rug here because this carpet underneath is like not that great. So I put this rug here. Um, I have my fuzzy steering wheel and everything. Um, right here is my backup camera that I installed. Um, and I also have an FM transmitter so I can have Bluetooth in the car because it doesn't come with um, Bluetooth or anything because it's so old. Um, I always have a drink here that I can drink. Um, and this is a little plastic succulent. I haven't had time to get an actual one, but that's my goal. Um, and then right here are the keys to the car. And this is a mask in case I'm running in somewhere. Um, and I also keep a trash can. Sometimes I have it like right here in this middle compartment. Um, but when I'm driving, a lot of times when I'm moving back and forth from the van, I'll leave it there. And then there is my purse. And I also have these, this is kind of the back, uh, but I also have these curtains that I will shut. There's one on that side as well. Um, and they kind of shut um, while I'm driving. I leave them open that way. I can see the back window. Um, but if I'm sleeping or something like that, I will shut them that way. It has a little more privacy. Um, I do have like a reflective piece that I put in the front window as well. Um, but most of the time, as long as I have the curtains closed, I at least feel a little bit more safe. Um, the other thing is there's some really weird stuff or a little, a few things that are a little weird about the car. I mean, I'm sure they weren't weird in the eighties. Um, but it's kind of weird to me now. So one thing that's a little weird to me, um, one, the hood like and stuff. I mean, this is the brake release and the hood, you open it right there. Um, the other thing is there's the lights. You like pull this out and that's the sound if the doors open and then you push it to turn them off. And I thought that was weird. The other thing that I actually just noticed today is I don't really have a, um, I don't know if it's called an RPM. Um, but that shows how many like RPMs that you're doing. I don't have that on here, which I think is very weird. Um, maybe that's just me. Um, and then also like, this is just like a cassette and down here, I guess you could keep little like cassettes and stuff. And the other weird thing, or not weird thing, but there are these ashtrays everywhere in the car. There are ashtrays everywhere and there are um, cigarette lighters and that kind of stuff everywhere. I guess everyone in the 80s smoked a lot. The other like kind of strange thing about the van is this tiny little TV. Um, it kind of works, sort of. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to rip it out and I just really haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Um, so I've just left it there. Eventually it's gonna come out, but yeah, the TV is, is strange. Blinds also came with the van. Um, I've been trying to get them ripped out, but I really need to get the van tinted first. Um, so I've just left them there. Uh, and the lights in the van do work without the van battery being on, but it can drain, drain 
the battery. And so, yeah, so I don't have them on all the time. So this right here is my stained glass window. Um, these are actually like giant stickers that you can get off Amazon. Um, that's where I got both of these. Um, they really weren't that hard to put in. And the good thing is not only does it look beautiful with the light coming through, but you can't really see in there. Like you can maybe a little bit, like you can see if someone's in there, but you can't like see any details. So when I'm like changing and stuff like that, it does give some extra privacy. And I did really like how it looked. So I think I already went over a lot of stuff in the front. Um, same on the other one, the windows roll down with these and then the doors all come off with these as well. Um, here in the second pocket, I have like tools. Um, so this is like a smaller toolkit and then this is more of like Phillips flathead stuff like that. I also have like um, strong adhesive, M3 tape, um, stuff like that just in case I have a problem or something like that that's like an easy fix that I can fix myself. That way I don't have to take it to Brian at work. The other thing I will mention is these chairs are like the most comfortable chairs I've ever been in. It's literally like a recliner. So mine doesn't recline all the way, um, or the driver's seat doesn't recline all the way because I have my kitchenette behind it, but this one does, and it's so nice. It's so nice, they're so comfortable. So now we're in the van. Um, so quick rundown. There's something on the camera moving. Hold on. Oh, it was like a little, little bit. Okay, so um, a little background. Um, so I bought this in October of 2019. Um, I did not start doing construction, I guess, per se, um, until like December. And in December, I laid the flooring and stuff. Um, and then I was not able to start working on it again until March. And then I moved in April 7th, as soon as I had my solar stuff done. So all of this that you're gonna see was in about one month, one month and a couple days. Um, nothing is like super fancy. Um, all in, I wanted to be invested under five. Um, and I think with all my expenses, including the price of the car and with the um, work that I put into it and the solar panel stuff, which actually is pretty expensive, um, it added up to be about $49.50. Um, I'm not really sure how that happened. I had budgeted out pretty well, but I thought I was gonna go over. So I was really happy that I didn't. Um, anyway, so that's just kind of just the background on everything you see here. Um, most of it is pretty inexpensive and pretty basic. I didn't want anything super fancy um, and I didn't take a lot of my stuff with me. I do have a storage unit um, where I have my furniture for my old apartment just because I am getting married in May um, and I wanted to have stuff that I could take with me and not just get rid of everything. That way we're not having to have like a completely fresh start. Um, so yeah. So I do live alone in here. Uh, my boyfriend does not, or my fiance, sorry. Um, he does not stay here with me. Um, so I did make everything down to size, like for me personally. Um, in the future, I would love to do like maybe a bigger one. Um, and that way there's more space for more people. I did initially consider doing a school bus. Um, there are multiple reasons why I decided not to do that. One of the reasons I decided not to do that is because of one, I heard you had to have a commercial driver's license and I wasn't sure how to go about doing that. I know you can go take a test at the DMV, but it just kind of seems like a lot. Um, the other thing is you can't just really park anywhere. Okay, sorry, my like whole camera just like fell down. Um, the other thing about the school bus is it's not very stealthy. With this one, I can basically park wherever I want and not have to worry too much about people being like, oh my gosh, is someone living in there? Um, and also parking lot wise, you can't just park in a normal parking space. There are a bunch of other things that I was like, eh, I'm just like, I'm not sure. Um, and since I'm small, I'm five foot one and a quarter, um, it like wasn't a problem for me to be in a low top type van, um, especially since I do work a lot. Um, so it's not like a conflict of problem. I'm not home like a whole lot. I, typically I'm at my fiance's or my parents or doing stuff with my brothers or friends and stuff like that. Um, I also like to paint and I'm, quite often out doing stuff like that, not so much in the van. Um, so it just like, at the end of the day, I was like, why am I paying for rent when I'm barely even here? Um, it just kind of seemed pretty pointless. Um, so I just decided that this was gonna be the best route to go. So anyway. Okay, so when you first come into the van, um, they're 
some shelves. So right here I have a car air freshener. And of course there's a freaking ashtray. Um, on this side I have some shoes that I wear really regularly. My more, most regular shoes. Um, and then also in here I have my toweling I'm just driving here. Um, these are some other, other shoes I use for work. I also have things like batteries in here. Uh, my manual if I need it. Um, and then like command strips and stuff like that. Um, this is also like the little entryway in between the two captain's chairs. My little tripod set up right there. Um, so that's what you're looking at when you first come in. So the flooring that I laid um, actually is from Lowe's. Um, it's just like the stickers that you just like take off and lay. <laughs> it really wasn't a big deal or like a lot of work or anything. We stripped out all the carpet, all the installation and put um, poly out poly iso foam board, I think that's what it's called. Um, and then we laid plywood over it and then we laid the flooring. Um, so that's what this is. And then I got this rug from Ikea, it's kind of wrinkled. <laughs> um, but this is what I use because in the morning, the ground can sometimes be a little warm or it can be a little cold. It's nice to have this like carpeted area. Um, and I can always throw it in the wash and it helps like with cleaning and stuff like that. It's like, it's pretty easy and simple. Moving on to the kitchen. This is my little kitchen area. Um, so I have some wash rags and some dish towels and stuff right here is my sink um, And it's a manual sink. Um, so let me kind of show you how it works. This is like a cutting board I have um, I do have some like dishes that need to be washed. So just ignore that <laughs> um, But basically what I'll do is down here um, behind my little curtain area um, I have a place for my reusable bags and stuff and this is my gray water tank um, where the bad water goes and this is my fresh water tank um, and it's all used by this foot pedal right here um, so basically you just go up here you push the foot pedal oh it's shut <laughs> you push the foot pedal and the water comes out um, I don't I do dishes like every night in here um, so I don't have to use a ton of water um, and it just makes things really easy. Um, I went ahead and bought this from Ikea just because it does give me so much more counter space when I don't have to have the empty basin right here. Um, so this is what the, that is. Um, these are all my like utensils and stuff, my reusable straws, plates, bowls, that kind of stuff. I have one cup um, that is actually needing to be washed right now. Um, and then right here, this is all my like get ready for bed stuff, my jewelry, my face wash, mouthwash, toothbrush, toothpaste, stuff like that. Um, and then here is like makeup, all that fun stuff um and then right here is my fridge this is the temperature that shows how hot it is i think it's off because it doesn't feel like it's 90. um there's a picture there's a picture of the man that i drew um and i would show you the inside of the fridge but it's not that clean so i'm not going to show you okay also when you're in a van or when you're using anything like with gray water and fresh water and stuff like that make sure that you use biodegradable soap um i love to use dr bronner's um, I go in between like the Lavermint and the Peppermint one. They both are really good. Um, but that way, if you are dumping anything out in the open, it's biodegradable and it's not going to harm the environment or anything because that's definitely not what we're trying. All right, moving on. This is all of my like pantry and some other novelty <laughs> items in here. Um, I do have a fan right there that I use. Oh, that's Jocelyn. I freaking love her. Um, these are all the foods and stuff that I use on a daily basis or a regular basis. I do have some other food that I keep at my parents' house um, if I'm like meal prepping or doing... All right, sorry, my camera died. Um, but yeah, this is all the stuff that I use on a regular basis that I'm not like more like quick food, like chips and snacks and stuff like that. Um, and then right here is my little AC unit. Um, I have these bungee cords to basically secure it and they're secured back here by some hooks. Um, just so nothing under my bed area will fall out while I'm driving. All right, really quick. Um, <laughs> I can almost stand in here. It's a little bit too short. Um, like the highest point I think is right here and it's still a little bit, it's like an inch or too short, I think. Um, but anyway, this is Jocelyn. Um, I found her at Goodwill um, like a week ago or so. And I just thought that she was so beautiful. Um, it looks like she is a, Mexican porcelain doll. Um, I am Hispanic. I'm not Mexican, um, but I thought that she was really beautiful. She was three dollars. Like, oh my gosh, she was three dollars. I was so excited. So I haven't really figured out where I was gonna put her. I had her over there in my little pantry section, but I would love if I could find some way to get her like sturdy somewhere, like on display. 
Um, but we'll see. We'll see if I can figure something out for her. All right, so this is my under bed area. Um, right there, I have like underwear and swimsuits and pajamas and socks and stuff. Right here, I have like Tupperware containers, that kind of stuff. Right up here is like other skincare items. This right here is all of my other like skincare type items, cleaning products, um, mirrors, hair products, all that kind of stuff. Um, right there are my jumble cables. It's like an emergency kit. Um, and then I have a Matco toolbox that helps me charge some of my stuff. Um, all this stuff right here is just like novelty stuff that I'll, or other stuff that we'll get into later. Um, but, and then behind all this, I have a box like one of these, um, and one is for dresses, one is for pants, and then one is for tops. Um, so all of my clothes and everything are stored under my bed, and it makes it super easy because then they're out of the way and I can enjoy the rest of my place. Um, one other question that I get asked that kind of has to do with my under the bed area is where I go to the bathroom <laughs> or if I have a bathroom in the van. Um, I do not. Um, I kind of have, since I've been in here for so long, I kind of tie myself to where I will go when I'm somewhere that I can go <laughs> um, and then train myself to not have to go until I get wherever it is that I'm going to be in the morning, whether it's at work or wherever. Um, I do have an emergency pee bottle <laughs> um, that I have used once, um, which I feel like really isn't that bad considering I've been in here for three months now. Um, so yeah, there is no, I do not go to the back of the van unless it's an absolute emergency. Um, and I do time myself, so there is no bathroom or anything in my van. Okay, so this is my bed. Um, it's a little shorter than a twin. The width is the same, but lengthwise it is a little bit shorter. Um, typically on it, I have some journals. Um, I do like to journal a whole lot. So that's what that is. Um, so this big fluffy llama. Um, so sleeping wise, typically I only sleep with one pillow. I just really keep two up there. And when I lay down, I can lay down here perfectly with my feet not touching the ground. Um, so, or touching the wall. So it's not like I have to lay slanted or anything like that. Um, it is pretty comfortable. And then I also have this rod up. Um, it's just like a shower rod that I put some garland or some decorations on and some lights and stuff so it does feel a little bit more homey. Um, and then here on the shelf, I have a candle that smells really good. And I also have Sweetie. Sweetie is my um, Dutch mix rabbit that passed away in March. Um, and I had her cremated and I really wanted to have her here in the van with me. Um, and so I just put in this little shelf that she can stay on and she stays here while I'm driving which makes me really happy. But, um, so here's just a, a close-up version. Um, this bedspread is actually from a Korean seller on Amazon. If you're interested, um, they had a bunch of different ones like avocados, pineapples, stuff like that. I really like these like little strawberry ones. So I think they're really cute. Um, so yeah, my bedspread and everything is off of Amazon. It does not come stuffed though. So I actually have a separate blanket that my fiance's mom actually made that's really comfortable and so I keep it in here. Um, but if you wanted a bigger look at kind of how I sleep, and I also have, um, I do black out the back when I'm asleep, especially if I'm parking somewhere that's not my parents' house. Um, I have a layer of reflectant that I put a layer of felt over um, that I just stick up in the window. That way it's blacked out and no one can see in when I'm sleeping. All right, so now we are currently at the back. Um, so this is a Mark III, um, a version of a Dodge Neon, um, and then our Dodge Ram. And then I also have a, to actually build a deck up there right now, um, but that's what we're, gonna, we're working on. All right, so when you open the doors, I mean, this isn't really that cute, and you can see where I messed up on the floor. <laughs> but I recommend this way. Um, so my solar panel stuff is from Renogy. Um, so I have a 400 um, amp, um, battery right there. Um, it is a deep cycle, I believe. Um, and then I have a 3000 watt inverter as well. Um, I have a little thing that connects it all together. Right here is my, um, it's kind of like, it shows how like the power goes from the solar panels to the battery and to the loads, which is my fridge and fan and stuff like that. Um, and then up there, this is what connects my Bluetooth. Um, so I can actually look at all this on my phone, which is really interesting and fun. Um, so yeah, everything back here really isn't that cute, but it's a necessity and so that's what that is.
Okay, so a couple other things. One, um, this right here um, says Hugue. Um, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Hugue. Um, it basically is, I think it's Swedish, um, and it's just for comforting and comfort and stuff that makes you feel really homey and comfortable. Um, and I just thought that that was really appropriate kind of for the space that I wanted to create. Um, this is just like a welcome mat <laughs> that I cut out and put on here. Uh, it actually took a lot longer than I'm willing to say it did, but yeah. Um, and the stuff that's right here, this is my art bag. Um, I actually got it from Goodwill. Um, I just liked it because it had a bunch of pockets. It's not really fancy or anything, but I just really needed something to hold my art stuff. So that's what that is. Um, this is a lunchbox that I just, I brought my lunch in since my fridge had been out. And then I have a duffel bag. Um, this duffel bag is actually from a really great brand. Um, it's called Reform. Basically they take billboards that people don't need anymore or they're not used anymore and recycle them and turn them into bags. Um, and so I got this one, it's just like a smaller duffel bag. And this is what I take when it's time to shower. Um, typically, like right now, since everything is closed, I'm showering at my parents' house. Um, but in the future, I'll be showering at like Planet Fitness and stuff like that. So I just wanted something that I could bring my stuff in. Um, and then right here, this is my protest sign. I went to a protest. Um, and so this is my sign that I have. Um, and then I also have like an extra blanket as well, um, just in case I get cold and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, welcome to my house. Um, parking wise, I park um, in a few different places. Um, since everything's been going on, I've been stationed mostly at my parents' house with a few different places here and there. Um, and I'm more than happy to make another video of like the places that I park and questions about like my solar panels and just other questions that people have. Um, but I just wanted to give you guys kind of a tour of where I live um, since it's not very conventional. Um, and it's really exciting and it's exciting to be able to basically go wherever I want with my home. So if I want to spend the night in Asheville for the weekend or something like that, that's really not a problem. For me. Um, so anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, and if you want to see more content or anything that is related to van life and uh, building out a van or something like that, I'm definitely not an expert, but I can at least show you and tell you what I have done. Um, if that's something that you're looking to do in the future. Thanks.